Since the beginning of this month, Syria has registered a notable increase in daily cases of COVID-19. The Arab nation faces this situation in the midst of a Western economic blockade that prevents it from importing medical equipment and health supplies needed to cope with the pandemic. We have more details in the following report by our correspondent Hisham Wanus. The number of COVID-19 cases that showed up and Damascus hospitals are full and unable to receive more patients. There are no empty beds in the intensive care units of the capital and a large number of those infected have been transferred to hospitals in other provinces. This is the biggest outbreak and the situation is extremely dangerous in medical facilities and this is largely due to the lack of implementation of preventive measures, especially because people hardly use face masks and do not respect social distancing. Faced with this situation, the health authorities urge full compliance with preventive measures. Meanwhile, civil society supports the official action against the pandemic with initiatives that offer patients medical oxygen cylinders, respiratory equipment and free medical advice by medical volunteers in their own homes. We offer medical assistance in homes through volunteer doctors with a total of 120 doctors in our association. Likewise, we have 250 medical oxygen cylinders and respiratory equipment, and thus Syrian civil society revives hope with the few resources it has. The difficult economic situation in the country as a result of the war and blockade makes it very hard to impose a partial or total lockdown to limit the spread of the virus and hinders access to prevented materials. Meanwhile, Syrians hope that official moves will succeed in securing COVID-19 vaccines. Doctors have already received the vaccine as they are on the front line, and despite the blockade, the Ministry of Health is doing everything possible to guarantee the vaccine to all citizens, and I hope it arrives soon and I can receive the necessary doses. Despite all the economic difficulties caused by the blockade, people prioritize the acquisition of masks, gloves, and vitamins necessary to raise their level of immunity, even when the solution lies in vaccination, as the spread of the virus does not stop, and the current outbreak of the pandemic shows that the situation is very serious. On March 22, 2020, the first case of infection with COVID-19 was detected in Syria. One year later, the epidemic has reached its third and most serious peak and joins the long list of challenges that have plagued the lives of Syrians for the past 10 years. The Syrian people are caught between a rock and a hard place. On the one hand, the novel coronavirus, and on the other, the Western blockade and terrorist war, a situation in which Damascus demands an immediate lifting of European and U.S. sanctions which obstruct its actions against the pandemic and endanger the lives of Syrians.